So, if I were getting ready to go on a Valentine's Day, what fragrance from my collection would I wear? Man, I don't know. I got 10 or 11 over here that I'm fixing to talk to you about though. So, if you wanna know what fragrance Trey would pick if he was fixing to wine, dine, and shine, and lay down, bump and grind. <laughs> That's corny, I know, but still, it goes with the territory, right? So if you want to know what fragrance of my collection I would pick, meet me on the other side of this intro, y'all, and let's get right into it. I'll see you in just a second. What's going on, everybody? That's right. You guessed it, it is your boy Trey Sense here. Got a little bit of a review, a little bit of a discussion. Listen, you know how we do it here on the channel. What are we gonna talk about today? Well, a few fragrances from my collection that I would definitely pick to wear on my Valentine's Day date if I were going on one. This year, I'm flying solo dolo and it's fine. Chance to reflect, get to know myself again, fall in love with me. That's important. Self-love and mental health are very important, especially as for us men, and we don't talk about that enough. Brothers, we gotta love each other. We gotta come together and love each other. Now, before I get into this video, as I clean my glasses, you already know, I need a few things from you. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. I need you to sub to this channel. And after you do all that, I need you to hit the icon bell, so every time I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know, and you can come by and catch catch the vibe with your boy so now that we've gotten that out of the way and put my specs back on as the sun sets i take off my specs sit down and collect but eight ball for y'all my thoughts on another day in the past okay so y'all ready to get into this all right let's get into it now these are all fragrances from my collection designer because mostly i have a few niche fragrances mostly what i have is designer some of these are None of these are overly expensive, but these are fragrances that I feel like I would reach for if I were going on a date with the young lady and uh, you know, I wanted to impress her. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I wanted her to feel your boy. So, no further ado, let's get right into it. None of these are gonna be overly expensive, hard to find. Most of these you can find are at a rack store with the exception of maybe one, maybe two of them. Two of them you're not gonna find at a rack store. Most of them are I'll say affordable. I don't think any of them are just outrageously priced. But the first one I want to talk to you about is that old sexy one to me. And this is a beautiful, beautiful powdery type of irisy type of scent. And it's from the house of Prada and it is Prada Luna Rosa. Not going to waste the spray black. I thought about it. I almost put it in the air. Oh, man. I love this fragrance. I really do. It was love at smart first sniff for this one. I probably overpaid a little bit for this one because it's a 50 mil. I dropped 49 on it, but I found it out in the wild. It was happy hunting. It was around my birthday, uh, not 2021, but 2020. And I um, was extremely happy to find it. Found it at Burlington. Didn't know it was, I knew it was there. I'd seen other people find it, but I was looking everywhere, I couldn't find it, and was like, man, and rested my hand on the uh, display case, and there it was, honestly. The old saying in Alabama, if it had been a snake, it'd bitch. Yeah, kind of that, but perfect date night, nighttime, cooler weather type of fragrance. Uh, I mean, it just has to me a vibe and a nuance about it that just says, hey, he ain't playing, he mean business. I mean, it just has that vibe, that energy, that presence about it from the house of Prada, Prada Black. And I want to say I picked 11, 11 out of 12. Hold on, let me count real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. That's 12. Let's get this next one out of the way. And it is, it's a flanker. And it is from the house of Armani. And it's Aqua de Gio absolute and i absolutely love this fragrance little word play there for you why it's sweet it's boozy but it's very low-key very chill very easy to wear i 
I just like it. It's something about this fragrance. <clears throat> Giorgio Armani, to me, did a really, really good job with the flankers. Because to me, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, all of the flankers that they released to Aqua Di Gio have taken that football, that, that plateau that Aqua Di Gio made and just ran with it and elevated it. Profundo is good. Profumo is good. Uh, 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 Profundo Lights is good. This one's good. I mean, it, they're, they're all just good, solid releases. And this one is no exception. This one is a little bit, to me, a little bit more playful than um, the Prada Black. It's a little bit more chill. It's a little bit more laid back. But at the same time, it definitely says, hey, I mean business. I like it. I like it a lot. From the house of Giorgio Armani, it is Aqua Di Gio Absolute. Great little fragrance there. This next one, um, I wasn't sure which one to put in here. It's from the house of Versace and it is a flanker and it is Eros Flame. I wasn't sure whether to put Eros or Flame in here. I think either one of them will do it. Every time I move my hand, that Prada Black is cutting up. I think either one of them will suffice, whether you go with the Flame or the OG Eros. Either way, you're gonna be smelling good. You're gonna be smelling sweet. And the key, guys, is this. Wear these fragrances properly, meaning don't you can't go 15 sprays on everything, Clayton. Every, you can't. I, I understand that a lot of guys like to do that. Some of these fragrances are better at four to five sprays and they are at 10 because putting more of it on is not going to help the performance of the fragrance. It's just not. It's just not. On, the only thing it's going to do, especially if it's a powerful fragrance like this one, is choke somebody out. But this is, a good, again, a little bit romantic, a little bit juvenile, a little bit sweet, a little bit playful, very modern, but it, to me, very sexy, uh, very much indicative of what a date night fragrance should be. And I like it. I'm not sure whether I would go with this one over the arrows. So if you have the, the OG arrows, maybe it's one that you should grab if you don't have this one. This one's good. Oh man. Yeah, I would definitely wear this on a date. Um, it just has that, that it factor. And to me, you know, and again, the area that I live in, we don't have a lot of perfume shops. I know there's some in Birmingham and there's some in Memphis. A lot of the people for things like that will go to Nashville and go to the, uh, to, it's a flea market or something up there they go, but I'm not sure those fragrances are real. But another story for another day. Fragrances like this, believe it or not, here in Alabama fly under the radar unless there's a few subs that happen to watch guys like me, Fat Boy, Cheapo. You know, some of the guys in Alabama that do this are some of the boys with Alabama ties. But nonetheless, this is a sexy, smooth, sweet, slightly romantic, very modern style of date night fragrance. And this is one I would definitely reach for if I were going to wind down and bump and grind uh, on Val's Day. Good smelling little fragrance. All right, let me go in. No, I'll just keep it going the way I'm going. This next one. You can't have a date night list or even consider taking a young lady out to the Sizzler if you're not considering wearing something from this line, at least. And this is from YSL. This is La Nuit de Lune. If you're not either La Nuit de Lune, uh, uh, Lone, uh, Lone Intense, something, one of those, then, I mean, what are you doing? the new uh, blue electric, any of those will do fine. But we're talking about what I would pick. So would I pick this one? Yes. This is definitely one I would consider to wear on a date night because it, it's it's sweet. It's a very sweet fragrance. I, and I also try to match my fragrances with my outfit. So depending on what I was going to wear, would also have a factor in what fragrance that I put on. If I was going super duper casual, and of course what I would wear, would be depending on the hoodie which would be, I mean the hoodie, would be depending on the weather. If I were going with something like a hoodie, uh, because we were going more laid back, a chill, say we want to get it in tonight, and we weren't gonna go super dressed up, that we were for real gonna go to the Sizzler. I mean, why would I, you know, you know, why would I spray on Prada Black or something like that? I would keep it, 
you know, chill. So that's why further on down in the list, you don't see more options. But if I were going to go real dressy, you know, with a nice button up, nice little time piece and actually, you know, try to show out a little bit, then I definitely would go with something like this because it just smells good. It smells sophisticated. It smells like a YSL fragrance, meaning it smells, smells expensive. I just like this fragrance. Compliment magnet, compliment monster. YSLs, nothing we alone. This next one, again, no stranger to anybody's date night list. But again, if you're gonna go on a date, it's one that you definitely have to consider. I would definitely rock this with a hoodie. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. Now, I'm not sure, again, which one of these I like better, the EDT or the EDP. I think the EDP is a little bit sexier because it's a tad bit darker. I'm one of those people that I don't complain about the performance on the EDT, the reason being, it does about six hours on my skin for some reason. The EDT does well off of my skin and it actually projects better than the EDP. So why do I have them both? I don't, that's a good question because I have a problem and I'm a collector, that's why. But I like them both. Scent profile is very, very close on, on, on the two fragrances. I do find that the EDP, which is this one, is a little bit richer, a little bit darker where the EDT is a lot brighter and a lot more of a uh, sweeter citrus type of note in that one. And I will be adding the intense to this as well. Cannot wait to get that in my collection. Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. I would definitely reach for that one if I were going hoodie style and gonna rock a hoodie, I would definitely reach for that one because that bad boy, that juice sets in that material on that hoodie, it's there. It's gonna rock a while. Now, if I wanted to just smell like a man and smell sexy and be confident which I am a man, I am sexy, and I am confident. So I'm gonna reach for this Lalique Lion's Head, Lalique Per Home. And this is, I, I wanna spray this so bad, but then I don't, reason being, if I spray this, it's over for everything else I spray out to this, cause this is going to linger in the room. This is definitely one of those fragrances that you don't need, but maybe three to four sprays on strategically maybe one here maybe wrist wrist and then middle of the of the shirt get just a little bit on your shirt so that fragrance lingers and this is one of those compliment getting sexy masculine fragrances that people forget about but i guarantee you if raja or roja however you say that or, or nave tools or some of these niche houses released this very same scent then people will be clamoring for it and paying hundreds of dollars to get it and talking about what a masterpiece it is. Guys, if you don't have this one in your collection, trust me, listen to me now, believe me later on. This is a four season type of fragrance, winter, summer, spring or fall. It is masculine, it is sexy, it is clean, it is crisp. If you are a man in your 30s to your coffin, this is one you're gonna need to pick up. And I'm telling you, if you rock this the right way, meaning with your chest out and your back stiff, and you be the confident man that you are wearing this fragrance. I'm telling you guys, I like it. I like it. La Ligue Pro Home, the lion's head. This next one is a cheapie, but it is a fragrance that absolutely blew me away when I got it, and it was a birth. Did I get this one birthday? It's a birthday gift from Miss Julie, and it is from the house of Trusardi and it is Reflesso. And it has made several of my list since I've gotten this fragrance. And the reason for it is because to me, it's, oh man, it's almost the perfect scent. And here's why, price, performance. And then it smells good. So I mean, if it smells good, it performs good and it's inexpensive, this fragrance can be had for under 30 bucks. Now the problem with it is, I have yet to see it in a rag store, but I'm sure there are some stores that, that do sell it. I've yet to see it, so you probably have to get it offline, Fragrance X, Fragrance Net. Nonetheless, smooth, sweet, boozy. This is a better land, version of Land Weed Alone than Land Weed Alone. I love it. The bottle could be better, but you're not going to walk around with the bottle on your neck like you're the Flavor Flavor Frag Car, so it doesn't matter. The juice that comes out of this bottle is polarizing. I'm telling you, when I pulled up on JP and Manny 
and I handed them this and they sprayed it. I mean, it was just like, man, showstopper right here. Showstopper right here, guys. Get this, especially for you guys who are like me, budget friendly about everything that you do. You, you want a fragrance to fall in certain categories. Not that I have anything against niche because I love niche fragrances. Absolutely love them. I have a niche wish list, probably about 50 fragrances, but I have to stay true to myself and myself is fragrances like this because my objective is just to smell good. Trissardi's Profleso. This next one is another one for you guys on a budget like myself who want something that rocks out but smells good. Vera Wang for men. Um, I have a sub and I can't think of his name, but I'm sure he'll see this and comment on it. He says this is a poor man's watered down weak version of Tom Ford something or another. What I get from it is about the same vibe that you get from Dolce & Gabbana the one. But if you don't have Dolce & Gabbana the one, or if you had your, the one and you sold it because you had this, I understand. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful little fragrance here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little fragrance. I would definitely wear this on a date. Um, if I were going more low-key, more, um, I don't know, say we're just going to the Sonic, you know, get us a banana split or something or whatever. If I were going real low-key, again, hoodie, I would definitely reach for this. Definitely reach for this. But it does smell good. And you got to remember, when this fragrance came out, not only was it expensive, celebrities i think we talked about this will smith was one of the guys that wore this and there are probably still a lot of people that wear this as his signature scent and i'm going to say this about this fragrance this is one of those scents that if it should ever become that word that dreaded word discontinued people will be paying kidneys and livers and legs and everything to get their hands on it and it was like when it was 17 dollars at uh, uh uh the racket shack nobody wanted it so now that it's discontinued, we want to pay $400 for it. No, get it now. Get your backup bottle. Stick it back in your collection. It can't hurt. You know what I mean? It can't hurt. Nice, sexy, little inexpensive date night fragrance right there. This next one is one. I'm going to do this one first. One of my favorite fragrances and one I could not wait to get in my collection. And it is from the house of Gucci. And it is Gucci Guilty. To me, this is a sexy fragrance. It's very modern, it's sweet, it's playful, it's easy to wear, but it has a certain something about it that when you smell it, you know, that's Gucci Guilty. It just has a something about it. I'm not saying it's the best smelling fragrance that I have, but I'm just saying it is a polarizing type of scent that if worn correctly, worn the right way with the right outfit, with the right amount of confidence, the right vibe, carrying yourself right and you're coming down through that thing you walking through there like i'm telling you sometimes i know y'all probably find this hard to believe but uh sometimes i can be a little bit i don't want to say cocky confident confident because i'm not a jerk with anything that i do my goal is to always have fun and enjoy myself because i made it to 46 and i'm 46 years old so i want to enjoy every day that i have left on this earth i really do Gucci Guilty just brings that out to me because it's just got that sweetness. And when I wear it, I'm like, I don't care if I get a compliment or not. I know I smell good. I know I smell good. So Gucci Guilty, definitely would wear that one. And I think I would stay casual with that one. Maybe polo and a nice Columbia jacket or something, North Face jacket. You know what I mean? Just keep it nice, nice jeans, nice polo pullover, jeans, some shoes. Just keep it comfortable, casual, but nice and keep it moving. You know what I mean? Now, if I wanted to go just a step up from that one, just a step up from Gucci Guilty, what would I go with? Gucci Guilty Black. Big shout out to the homeboy JP for this one because I was getting ready to leave and he was like, Trey, on the cool man, hold up. I got something for you, big homie. And then he reaches off in his backpack and hands me this. And I'm like, J here you go, JP. I mean, here you go, big Trey, homie, OG. So that's what we have here, Gucci Guilty. Now, this one has that same sweetness that same um, playfulness with a little bit of citrus and a little bit more masculinity. So if I wanted to be a little bit more serious, I would go with this one. I would go with the Gucci Guilty Black. A little bit different direction, but you get the same, same vibe. Now these next two and the last two on the list 
are definitely two of my favorites and they have grown on me. If I just want to be super powdery and really have my confidence soaring like it ever needs any boost, Valentino will more intense. Love this bottle, love this scent, love everything about this fragrance. Sophisticated, sexy, masculine, powdery, playful. Three seasons, I'll say, winter, spring, early summer or early fall or I'm sorry late fall fall winter spring maybe not necessarily a fragrance I would wear in the heat of the summer even though I did one time wear this on a very hot summer day I didn't care I just got it I want to wear it so that's what I did sexy little date night fragrance right here love it love it a lot Valentino one more intense this last one is one that grows on me and every time I smell it I find a new nuance to this fragrance that I like even more and it is from the house of Zaharov and it is Zaharov's signature per home. Purple represents royalty and that's what I feel like when I wear this fragrance. I love the purple and gold. Reminds me of those old Hazelwood Golden Bears who was was a local high school here that managed to win 11 state championships and send numerous players to not only the University of Alabama, but several SEC schools and even to the NFLs. If you're familiar with the Goods, well, they went to Hazelwood. Before they were stars at Alabama, they were stars at Hazelwood. And this fragrance is just elegant. It's classy. It's sophisticated. It's manly. It's barbershoppy, but then, just when you think you've got it figured out, here comes this smokiness. And that's what I like about it. It has this smoky nuance that just, to me, seals it and just makes me feel like, because I don't smoke, I never have. I, I probably couldn't even inhale on a cigar. <laughs> I mean, I'm just not, I'm just not that guy. Uh, I smoke chickens, ribs, turkey, things like that. Greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. But cigars and cigarettes, it's just not my thing. I just, I, you know. I had other issues to deal with. I can't afford to smoke too. But this one, that smoky nuance in it mixed with that barbershop, fougere, classic man type of vibe. And this one, four seasons, winter, summer, spring, or fall. To me, it is dressy though. It is a dressier uh, fragrance. Great wedding scent. Great wedding scent. I, I just like it. I, I like everything about this fragrance. And this one was a gift from Mr. George himself. A uh, great guy. I do plan on ordering the new uh, Zaharoff Tabak. I'm not sure about the X yet, but I definitely want Tabak. Um, but I don't have that one yet. I'll be working on it. Um, Zaharoff Signature for Home. Great. I think this makes a great date night uh, scent. I do. I just feel like it's just super, super masculine and it smells really, really good. All right, guys, that has been, what did I say, 10, 12? Yeah, whatever, 12 fragrances for my collection that I would be wearing if I were doing something on Valentine's Day. But I am doing something on Valentine's Day. I'm going to my eye doctor. I have an appointment first thing that morning, and then I'm going to work later that evening. So that's what your boy will be doing on V-Day. But that's perfectly fine with me. I'm okay with that. Oh, man. But yeah. These fragrances are all rock stars and they all smell really, really good. Now, need something from you guys in this comment section. I need to know if you've already went on your date, what did you wear? Or if you're going, what would you wear? Whenever it is, some of y'all are celebrated next week. Some of y'all are celebrated in July. Whenever you celebrate it, let me know what you're going to wear. Or if you've got a date, just a casual date, whatever, let me know what you're going to wear on your date. Let me know what you're going to do to impress her. You know what I mean? Did I have, yeah, I did have one Versace fragrance on this. So be active in the comment section. You guys, and you already know, your boy appreciates you so much for returning to the scene of the crime. I appreciate you. So now I got to get off of here, pose for a picture like this. And then I got to edit it, thumbnail it, and get it up so you guys can see it. Also, predictions on this Super Bowl. Who y'all got? Who you, who you got? Who you got? I think Joe, Joe Burrow would make a good story, but I just think the Rams are too low. So I'm going, I'm going with blue and gold because my high school team, blue and gold. My Irish are blue and gold. Rams are blue and gold. So, or blue and yellow, whatever. All right. But anyway, leave all that in the comments. So I got to get off of here real quick, do my thing, and get it out to you. So again, thank you all. I've decided what fragrance 
I'm going to do in the giveaway. I haven't decided all the details about the giveaway yet because I may give away two fragrances. I'll just tell you this. The two fragrances I'm leaning towards giving away are Coach Platinum and a 30 mil bottle of um, Polo Red Extreme. That's what I'm leaning to us. So that's gonna give, be the giveaway. So we'll probably have two winners. We'll probably have a first place winner and then a second place winner. Or it won't be a first place or second place because all of you are winners in my book, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw twice. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it yet. So you know, we'll get, we'll get all that worked out in the next week or two, but pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. One bottle of Coach Platinum, one bottle of um, Polo Red Extreme. So how about that? So y'all ready for this giveaway for reaching 2K? Uh, I am too. Anyway, thank you all again. God bless you all and I love you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.